Hi, and welcome to the show. Hi, and welcome to Three Minute John. And now the news. Samsung's most expensive smartphone is a flip phone. Yep, Samsung launched a high-end smartphone that flips with two displays and a physical number pad. And it costs $2,700. It's called W2019 and it has all the specs you would expect from a flagship smartphone. Snapdragon 845 processor, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 or 2056 gigs of storage, dual 12 megapixel rear cameras with variable aperture that can shoot 4K videos at 60 frames per second or 1080p at 960 frames per second. Okay, that's amazing, but still. $2,700 for that extra cash, users can enjoy free software fixes, phone disinfection, and an exclusive hotline. Phone disinfection? What the hell is that phone used for if it needs disinfection? Hey man, I think that's you. Nah, no, it, it's fine. But don't you worry, because you can't get one. It's only available in China and at a specific carrier. And speaking of ridiculous prices for a Samsung, rumor has it that the foldable phone will be released in March next year and it will cost $1,700. And they expect to sell 1 million units of it. Yeah, sure. Just like I expect to get 1 million subscribers. Dream on, Samsung. Dream on. The Samsung S10 selfie cam hole. Speaking of the Korean devil, the king of leaks and rumors, Ben Gaskin, has posted some new renders for the next Samsung Galaxy devices and they look... weird. They are based on the images shown at the developers conference last week and the first one looks like the notch on the essential phone, but if you're going with the nipple notch, at least copy the OnePlus 6T. It's much more tasteful. The second one looks like it should not exist, because it's just stupid. The third one looks like it was shot by a dwarf with a small gun. And only the last one looks like it should look. But apparently that one with all the sensors and the camera under the display will only be available in 2020. No! God, please, no! No! Gaskin says that it's very possible that the Samsung Galaxy S10 will get the Infinity O display. Oh, sh**. I'm sorry, but that display looks like the back of the iPhone 4 without the flash. Samsung displays are among the best in the industry, but I still can understand what the hell are they thinking by putting a glory hole in the display? Now, I'm not saying that this is worse than the notch, because it's not, but I still don't like it. Maybe it's just me, but tell me what do you think? Do you like it? Do you like the hole? I mean this hole? Leave a comment and let's talk about it. The Nubia X. First time we talked about the Chinese manufacturer Nubia was two months ago when they showed off a flexible smartphone watch thing. But now they released a phone that I think is brilliant. It has the best screen to body ratio on a smartphone with no hole in it, Samsung. You know? And no motorized or sliding cameras. Because the best way to hide the selfie cam is to never put it in the phone. This is just... That's right, the Nubia X has a secondary display on the back of the phone that you never know it's there until you turn the phone over and you can use the dual camera setup that has 16 and 24 megapixel sensors to take the best selfies ever. The specs are those of a flagship and it only costs $500. Hear that Samsung? Power, innovation and a low price. This type of technology was used before on the Meizu Pro 7, also Chinese, but that one was very small and still had a selfie camera in the front, thus missing the point. Unlike Samsung that literally made a point. In my opinion, this type of approach is really cool. And I think that other manufacturers should be thinking of doing the same thing. And not drilling holes in the goddamn display for a stupid selfie cam! But what do you think? Leave a comment and let me know. This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Click that little bell. Share this with your friends. I'm John. Until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers.